special mama. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe, uh, like, and leave any comments with questions about the video. So this video is going to be about how to manage an Airbnb from abroad. So if you watch any of my videos, you probably know we have a home in uh, Drax Hall just outside Ocho Rios, Jamaica, but we live in New York. So we manage the Airbnb from abroad, which can create some challenges that you wouldn't have if you were actually there physically at the home. So I want to give you guys some tips. Um, I know a lot of my viewers are looking to buy in Jamaica and rent out on Airbnb uh, from abroad. So hopefully this will be helpful to you guys. So one thing you definitely have to have is what I call a house manager. So this is someone that will coordinate cleanings of the home, make sure the landscaping is good, uh, meet guests to swap keys. If there are any problems during a guest stay, they're a great resource that's there physically that can help. Um, on Airbnb, they call them co-hosts. Um, so you might see that term on Airbnb. Um, but just someone to really take control of the house, watch out for it, and just keep an eye on things since you are not there. So one good example of this is about a week ago, I noticed that the power went out at our house um, in Jamaica and I knew because the camera went off and the internet was down. So I called the house manager and asked her if she was out and about, if she could just drive by and check and make sure everything was good because I wasn't sure exactly how long the power had been out. So my main concern was that the fridge would be off for a while and the ice would melt and create an issue in the kitchen. So I asked her to specifically check on that for us. Um, so it's really good to have somebody very reliable, trustworthy there that can check on these things for you. Um, the house manager we have, she's family pretty much, and she keeps an eye on everything from cleaning to landscaping, any work that needs to be done. She's really good at telling us um, like proactive things. For example, if you're Jamaican or have been to Jamaica, you know that a lot of the houses have grill on them. So we're really close to the ocean. So the grill occasionally has to be scraped down, like sanded down and reprimed and repainted. So she let us know recently that that needs to be done because it's starting to peel. So you just want somebody that's really going to keep an eye on things and let you know of things that um, you wouldn't know otherwise because you're not there. So aside from a house manager, I would say a housekeeper. So someone to keep the house very clean. Um, I've been using the same person for three years. She's really great. And on Airbnb, we always get really good ratings on the cleanliness of the home. So she does a really great job of keeping things clean. So just make sure that whoever it is, um, they're reliable. They're able to go on the days um, that you would need them and that they do a really good job to keep the place clean. So one thing I do with our housekeeper from time to time, especially if there's a guest that I might have a little concern about maybe something broken or if um, while the guest was there, they let me know something wasn't working properly. Um, what I'll do is call the housekeeper on WhatsApp on a video call so she can kind of show me what's going on. So that's a very helpful tool also um, to use when you're talking. Just do the video call and then you can really see what's going on. Um, another important thing, if you have a detached home, is a landscaper. So if you're responsible for keeping up your yard, uh, you want to make sure that the grass is cut, it looks nice, because that's really the first impression people get when they drive up, is the yard. So you want it to look inviting and nice. So just make sure you keep up on your landscaping, have somebody that's reliable, um, that's going to um, cut on time. Um, you can either set them up, schedule them like every two weeks, something like that, or if you have, um, it really depends on how much rain there is, especially in Jamaica. Sometimes you don't need them every two weeks. So it's good um, to also work with the house manager on that. And actually our house manager schedules our landscaping um, because she goes to the house and sees uh, when it needs to be done. So that's a really great way to handle that. 
And then also you want to make sure you have a handyman that can just fix minor things around the house. Um, for example, re recently we had um, uh, an, <laughs> an incident where somebody broke the toilet seat off um, the toilet. So I get, apparently they fell <laughs> coming out of the shower or something. So they broke the toilet seat. So we had to replace that. Um, and a gentleman that we use, he's like our backup co-host and also helps us out a ton around the house. He was able to fix that. We also had an incident where the master bed broke <laughs> and he had to fix that. So it's really great just to have a handyman um, around that can fix minor things. Then if you have something more technical like electrical, plumbing, things like that, Make sure that you have those people on call also. So if you need any recommendations for the Ocho Rios area, area I have those. Um, if you're in another area of Jamaica, ask around. Maybe um, if you're buying a house in a new development, ask the uh, management office there at the development if they have any recommendations for plumbers or electricians or handymen. So that can be a great way to kind of build up that contact list. Um, if you're in a home that is not in a new development or you don't have an association with an office, then talk to your neighbors. Um, Jamaicans are super friendly. Um, so just talk to your neighbor and see who they use for different things. Um, and that would be a really good place to start. Um, just get recommendations from people. And then the last thing is installing cameras. So we have a detached home there in Ocho Rios and we have the ring cameras. So I really like the ring cameras because you can look at them on your phone. You get notifications when there's movement. So you can kind of check it out. It's a great way also um, not only to keep an eye on the house security wise, but also know if I have a guest coming in today at four o'clock and I see it's six o'clock and they haven't arrived yet, I can always message them and say, you know, is everything good? Do you need the directions again? Something like that. So it's a good way to kind of just make sure that they found the found, found the house okay also. So um, I would highly recommend getting cameras. We have one camera in the front that covers the front door um, or the entrance to the veranda. And then we have a back camera that covers the back door. Um, and you kind of have to use your discretion on this. So we have our home completely grilled. So all the windows and doors are grilled. Um, so you're not going to have someone break in unless they put a lot of effort into it. So we feel like having one camera in the front, one camera in the back is good. If you have a home that's a different situation, maybe somewhere else other than Jamaica, um, and you have exposed windows or uh, side doors or things like that, you might consider putting cameras on the side of the house also so you can catch movement in those areas. So it really depends on the situation. Our home's in a 24-hour uh, secured gated community, so we don't have a lot of concern um, on the safety side. So um, we just have a few cameras. But if we had a house that was not in a development like that, I would definitely have more cameras to watch the driveway or the side of the house, like I mentioned. So just use your discretion in that. Um, like I said, Ring is a great camera. Um, it's easy to use um, and see what's going on from the U.S. And um, it's worked really well for us. So those are the tips I have on how to manage an Airbnb from abroad. If you guys are doing this also, what um, have you found helpful? If there's other tips that you have, please share them in the comments because it can help other viewers out. And any questions, also, I'm always glad to get those. So, thanks, guys. Hey, hustle, mama.